My name is Damodar Banotkar, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco. Unified Collaboration introduces a lot of real-time as well as latency-sensitive demands on your wireless network. Now, Cisco Jabber is one such application, and you need an application-aware and intelligent QoS policy in there to make sure that Jabber gets the priority that it deserves. Now, AVC lets you do that on Cisco wireless networks. AVC is Application Visibility and Control, and it uses heuristics-based deep packet inspection and NBAR2 to recognize thousands of applications, and Jabber is just one of those. Now, that sounds like a lot, but how do you enable this? Well, here's how. You can inspect application on a specific SSID by clicking the checkbox for application visibility under the QoS tab. Here I have two iPads which are in a Jabber call with each other. They are associated with the brand new 11 AC Access Point 3700, which is associated to a Cisco 55 wireless LAN controller running the 7.6 code. Now let's see how well the Cisco AVC recognize the Jabber call. You can take a look at the applications running on the network by going to the application tab on the monitor dashboard and selecting the SSID that you're interested in. Here we see that AVC has categorized one Cisco Jabber call into three different components, audio, video, and control. Now let's take a look at controlling applications. You can do this by first creating an AVC profile. For this demo video, we've created a profile by assigning different QoS priorities to different application flows inside a Cisco Jabber call. Let's call this profile Mark Cisco Jabber. You can control the application priority on a given network by assigning the AVC profile to the desired SSID. Application can be controlled by prioritizing traffic using QoS or dropping traffic altogether. For our application demo, we have an iPad, which is in a Jabber video call with another iPad displaying the Cisco AVC YouTube video. We will demonstrate application control by studying the impact on the Jabber call in a two-step process. First, we'll be dropping the Cisco Jabber video component, and then we'll be resuming the Jabber video component with the correct QS prior. Wi-Fi is critical for today's businesses, but with increasing numbers of users working on an increasing number of devices, running increasing numbers of applications, it has become extremely challenging for IT to make decisions based on what is happening in their networks. A network administrator's job moving forward will require them to optimize application traffic from several dozen or more major and minor applications in accordance with the priorities of the company. The question is always, what is happening on my network? From what we've demonstrated in this video, Cisco AVC does not just recognize Jabber traffic, but gives you granular control over each discrete flow inside one given Jabber call. So go ahead and turn on AVC and take control of the applications over your wireless network. Thank you for watching this video.